Well, it was a really good weekend of Reds baseball. And in fact, take away, honestly, just one inning from Friday. And it was a almost perfect weekend of Reds baseball. Uh, so the Reds take uh, two out of three from the Orioles um, and guarantee a winning record against the American League East. Um, I think that they were saying that was the first time that the Reds have had a winning record against an American League division since 2013. I don't know if it was if it was specifically the American League East or if it was just the American League in general. Um, but yeah, we've had a lot of success against the best division in baseball, which is really interesting considering how bad our season's been. Um, I guess maybe if we played in the American League East, maybe we'd be better. I don't know. That's probably not how that works at all. But anyway, uh, yeah, so we started with a 2-6 to six loss um, on Friday, which really the only thing that went wrong was Buck Farmer getting rocked in the ninth inning. Um, Mike Miner pitched really good, and Joey Votto, um, Votto, by the way, has gotten hot, um, hit a, a two-run home run in the first inning, uh, that would be all the scoring for the Reds. Um, on Saturday, Tyler Malley was dominant in what might have been his last game with the Reds, I hope not, uh, because we already traded away Castillo uh, and Naquin, I don't know if I can take CM Malley go as well, Malley and Kyle Farmer have been the other names that have kind of been floated around, um, but another day or two, two days before the trade deadline. We'll see. But um, Mally was dominant and so was the bullpen. Actually, superb job by the bullpen. Uh, San Martin, Detweiler, and Hendricks uh, were the closing acts um, there to help finish that game out. And also India, Votto, and Fraley uh, with home runs. And then uh, a 3-2 to two win today, and it was a dominant performance from Nick Lodolo. Um, I'm really, really loving what we got going on with our starting pitching. Um, even with the departure of Castillo, because I think we have that three-headed uh, monster coming up of uh, Green, uh, Ashcraft, and Lodolo. Um, and Lodolo, like, he looks better and better with each outing. Uh, that curveball is lethal, and he was able to locate it you know, wherever he wanted it today. Uh, Brandon Drury with a big go-ahead home run to go up 3-2, to two, and that would be it. So the Reds moved to 40-61 and 61 on the season. We're no longer in last place in the Central. We moved, I think it's half a game, ahead of the Pittsburgh Pirates. So does that mean anything in the grand scheme of things? Not at all. But in a season like this, you got to find things that you can celebrate. Uh, so uh, I know the Cubs are playing a Sunday night game right now. Um, or that game might be over, actually. I'm not really sure. But uh, that'll be the next team that we're trying to pass. Um, you know, if we can't win, let's at least not be the worst uh, in our division. So a step in the right direction. Uh, but a good weekend. Um, it was fun. And uh, now we move into three games against the Miami Marlins in Miami, a team that we just split a series with in, uh, in Cincinnati this past week. Um, so, yep, coming off a good series. Um, yeah, I mean, let's go into Miami and, uh, and try to win the series. I'm going to continue to try to be optimistic. The team is playing well. They're fun to watch right now. Um, and a winning record in July still. So, uh, oh, well, July is over now. So let's have a winning August as well. Uh, so I say we take two out of three from the Marlins. But let me know what you guys think of the series against the Orioles and what you're expecting uh, from the series against the Marlins.